Hello, it's Tom Myers, Superintendent of Bellevue Community School District in Bellevue, Iowa, coming to you with this week's Believe in the Blue update. I want to give you a few updates of what's going on. First, I want to start off this our, our next to last full week of school. Next week is our last full week of school. We do come back on Tuesday after Memorial Day for one final day. So the last student day is actually May 30th. Our last official teacher day is May 31st. But uh, we have some students out at State Track right now from Cameron Ray, Eli Witt, Peter Kilberg. I'm reading off the list over here. Caleb Kress. Uh, and we have uh, Ty Oster, then we have uh, uh, Rebecca Schrader, Lindsey Banowitz, Kylie Biederman, and Holly Herrig all competing out at the state track meet out there that way. Wish them all the best. I know Cameron medaled yesterday in the 3,000 meter run for girls, finishing in sixth place in a very strong field. So congratulations to Cameron that way. Uh, a few other things just want to let you know some other events happening here in the very, very near future, speaking next week specifically. We have a preschool graduation going on next Thursday night. That's May 26th, that, May 25th. Excuse me, and that is down to Bellevue Elementary. Alicia Reese and Sam Van Gorp uh, do a great job with the preschoolers that way in our early learning, and uh, it's always a great event to go there. I have the privilege of being down there and announcing names, so it's always a real positive thing. On Wednesday night, we have an awards evening for our high school students mainly seniors, but there are some junior awards and others that way. I encourage you to come out to that at the middle school, high school. Then next Friday, we have the Beyond the Blue group, uh, the recipients who have uh, really contributed to the community, to the state, to the nation, to the world after graduation. Some qualifications on that, as I mentioned before, they have to be out of high school for 10 years. They have to be nominated by someone else, whether in, in the community or not. Uh, we have four recipients this year, and I'll give you a little information on that. There will also be some information in the Bellevue Herald Leader. Uh, Commander Martha Michelson is one of those. Uh, Tom Rikens, uh, Mike Farley and then Randy Stein. So uh, four, four very quality people that way. They're actually going to be talking to our students next Friday afternoon at the high school. So you're aware of that. We have graduation uh, next Saturday. So a week from tomorrow, we have graduation here at 8 o'clock. We still have the Saturday night graduation. We'll be graduating 49 students. So congratulations to them. Their last day is Wednesday afternoon. They have practice. So they're actually done here about 4.30 on Wednesday. So you're aware of that. This week, we had a very good quality meeting with about 25 people here for the master's facility plan meeting with Legat Architects and basically what we did there we talked about our facilities how we're going to measure the quality of them how we're going to get community input and the biggest thing there is talking to people and to have a survey done electronically and on paper so just so you're aware of that what's going on that way um, there will be some community meetings as the months go by here not a lot happening as far as community meetings again until uh, late September or October, just so everyone's aware of that, but want to let you know. And final thing I want to do today, I want to read you a little bit more from the book Unthink by Eric Wall. Uh, he talks about what we want as we're growing up. As children, we wanted to do something. Uh, a ball player, a ballerina, a doctor, a nurse, a lawyer, a teacher. As teens, we wanted to be someone. We were each the same something, a student. So what mattered most was acceptance. Who we were seen to be. Popular popularity was more important than our place in the world. But then, sometime after high school, our wantings began to merge into a grander vision of our lives. We wanted to be something and someone. And at the heart of that vision was a job. So uh, it also goes in here talking about how your life should not be your job or your job should not be your life, however you want to say that. But ultimately, we want our people to be someone and something and have something to be proud of. All of our students be proud of what they're accomplishing and to have goals for their future that way. And we'll talk more about that in the upcoming weeks and months, I'm sure, and probably even bring something up about that during graduation. I want to let all of you know uh, where we're at right now. And it's uh, not raining out right now, which is kind of surprising since it's rain all morning long. Uh, but we'll go from there and wish our athletes the best to stay track. We'll also remember the band performs a variety of times. Had some great concerts this week by the vocal and the band K through 12 that way. So just want to congratulate all of them on their performances as well. On that note, have a great day, and we'll talk to you all later.